Hi everybody, I'm back for more Say to and my alien classmates. We're still in learning adventure and we're doing a hard level. Zezu must find a classmate holding the word that has the same meaning as this word. In level one is learning playground and we're on yeah, antonyms opposite go. antonyms. An antonym is a word opposite in the meaning to another. Example of this, bad and good. Let's repeat the question. Zezu must find a classmate holding the word that has the same meaning as this word. After, below, or on. So above, so below is down. The kids are running too fast. Gotcha! Good catch, Zezu. Is that the right word? Yes! Odd is the same meaning as above. Second question, coming right up. Ooh. So we need to find the word that has the same meaning to close. Yeah, let's go. Open has a different meaning as an opposite. And we got <laughs> hang on. We need five somebody. Should we just wait? Ah. Uh-oh, he's running away. Good job. Right. Close. Is, uh, shut? The same word to close? Great job, Seizu. Now, let's do the third question. Yeah. Word that has the same meaning as this mm, So Seizu needs to find the word that has the same meaning as yell. Whisper, shout, or empty. Yeah, let's go. Right, let's go. <laughs> ah, found the right one. So is shout... This is the same word as yeah. So shout is the same meaning as yeah. Great job, Seizu. Third question completed. Oh, so bye. We need Seizu needs to find a classmate holding the word that's the same yeah, meaning as the go. word bye. So let's see. So selling is different. Purchase is the same meaning as buy. So we have to wait for the kid who's finished swinging. Gotcha! So buy. Would you think purchase? Yes! Fourth question Super corrected. Crazy. It's correct. Let's learn some more. Here's the final question. What? Damp, last, or dry? So, we'll find the classmate, which has the word yeah, damp. It's go. the same meaning as wet. Hey, I'm here! Oh, where's the kid? Um, uh, I don't know where you're at. Ah, found ya! Fifth question completed, and all questions completed in a hard level learning adventure. Now we're going on to activity two. What are you doing now, Zezu? Oh, Each treasure Zezu chest has a different is trying to buy the, the parts of the communi communication to machine. This treasure chest. The key number must be less than or equal to 15. So in the curriculum of a hard level, in Treasure Lab, we're doing large number addition, subtraction, and multiplication. This is really hard, of course, and we need to work extra hard for this. To open this treasure chest, the key number must be greater than or equal to 20. Open this treasure chest. The key number must be between 15 and 20. Z 
behavior must get a key by making a correct equation. Right. Let's do equations. Four. Again, this time. So let's see. Each treasure chest has a different requirement on the key. Fifteen. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Time. That's not right. Three. Four times three. So it's not two, yeah. seven, or seventeen. Not fifteen. So it must be a uh, big twelve. So you do keep looking. Wait a minute, that's not right, is it? Twelve. It is right. You picked up key twelve. Key twelve. Let's Four times three is chest. twelve. It matches this key. Right. Let's find the chest. To open. Is that the right Silver chest? Baby. It is the right chest. Let's we found the battery. Seventeen. So we got 17. We're gonna pick 17. Each treasure chest has a dip. We'll minus. go for minus. And uh, we're. Hang on a minute. To open this treasure. Uh, what about. Oh. Oh dear. This is confusing. To open this. We need to find out that it's less than or equal to 6. Aha! Uh -huh. Found the right number. Five. 17 minus 12 is 5. Let's open the treasure chest that matches this key. Aha! Uh -huh. Found the right solution. Super spacey. Boy, that's good. Let's learn some more. Okay, we will. So, to open this the key must be uh, between 50 and 20. We need to find the... the we need to find the number that is greater than. Three. So three. Each treasure chest has a different requirement on the key. Times. Times. Wait a minute. Three times. Three times five is three. So. Um, um, let's see. No, that's three times four is twelve. I don't know which one is which. Five. Five. So that would equal to, uh, fifteen. Wonder where is it? Right. Fifteen. We did it! You picked up key 15. 15! This key doesn't open any treasure chest. Oh. Goodness me, I'm sorry, Sazu. Six. Right. Six. Right, let's try it again. Let's try a level one. Where's the times? I don't see a times anywhere. Plus or subtraction, I'm looking for the multiply. Boy, this is so confusing. Right. Do you think it's right? Fourteen. You picked up key fourteen. This key doesn't open any treasure chest. No, it doesn't 15. exactly say so. Plus. How about? Six. Aha! Sorry, about the freeze. Fifteen Let's plus six the is twenty-one. This key. Let's find a chest that matches this key. Is more than 20. So let's look for the chest for this. Here it is! Super 21! Let's learn some more! Right. 
Here it comes. Right. So let's find the number that is between 15 and uh, 20. Plus? Uh huh. 9. 8 plus 9 is 17. Not 11, 21, 24, 20. 17! 17? You picked up key 17. That's enough! Let's open the treasure chest. Sorry, that matches I'm not this key. like that to you, the narrator. I'm saying that is enough number for the, the treasure chest. Super Sorry, everyone. I didn't, know, I didn't know what I was meant to say. Yeah, I said that's enough all. to the total so of the number. Go. The total number is 17 between 15 and 20. That's what I meant. Okay. So now, we're going into, uh, part 6 of Seizu, my alien classmate, of my Feast Mile series, episode 1. Where Seizu is doing the puzzle pieces, but he has to collect 16 pieces uh, of a picture of a famous landmark again, the same as the normal level. And, it'll be 10 to 15 3D shapes in Arts and Crafts. So thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, comment and like, and I hope you enjoyed it, I will see you again soon. Bye!